We're just selling out to what Coach Kai has been preaching about playing fast. And when you have a nine-year big league over at first base, it helps you out a lot knowing when you're going to get picked off, knowing what pitch is coming. And those guys have been a huge addition to us, and it's made it really easy on the base pass for us to t pick up tips or whatnot and just get the offense rolling. Logan came up pretty clutch there at the end. How important, how big was it to be able to have him back in the lineup today? That guy's a spark plug, man. It's He's electric at the plate, and it's really good to see that he's healthy and coming back. And he hadn't missed a beat since he's been hurt. And it's really good to see he adds, he's a key addition to our lineup and just adds that more, much more punch to our order. Good feeling in a game like this that maybe last year y'all don't have the firepower to maybe to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys like you did today, but y'all were able to kind of pick up the pitching staff when they had some wobbles here and there? Absolutely. I think it speaks volumes to our team. Yesterday, the pitching staff picked us up when we left a couple base runners on, and we told them we'd pick, us up, we'd pick them up when we need to, and it just really shows how, how complete of a team we are, and it was a really good way to see us win yesterday with them closing it out and then with us answering back every time they scored. Uh, it's been going through concussion protocol. Uh, there's five steps to it, so I passed the final one this morning and uh, got to play today. What, 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 where did it actually hit you the other night? It uh, hit me in, in between my forehead and my nose, like r right in the, in the middle, right there. Got, got a little bit of headache the past couple days? No, just that just that night I did, and then in the morning I was pretty good, but they diagnosed me with a concussion, so I had to just go through all the protocol and pass that. So Yeah, so, so this morning, uh, when did you kind of know, and what was that feeling like for you to know uh, you'd be back in? Coach put me in the lineup today, but uh, I still had to go through pregame BP and warm-ups, and then after that I took the concussion test, and if I made a passing grade on that, then I could play and pass it. Did it take you a few minutes to kind of get, or a few innings to kind of get into the, the flow of the game a, a little bit, kind of get back yeah, right under you? It might have looked like that, but no, I mean, no warm ups was good. I'm, warm ups got me ready for the game, but yeah. What did you see in that, at that last at bat that drove the game running around? Um, he threw me actually all fastballs that at bat. He was worked it through a 3 2 count, fouled off a couple pitches, and then just left a fastball up in the zone and put a good swing on it. Good to be able to kind of be able to make that kind of instant impact having to set out a couple games in your first game back? 100%. I mean, it's good for the team. Uh, we had a lot of big hits in that game. Bryce Blum had an awesome uh, base clearing double, and it was just good that uh, I could put the team up in front on that swing. With him being a veteran on the infield, how much you looked at Bryce for leadership? For sure. Bryce is uh, definitely one of our leaders. He uh, he knows what's going on all the time. I mean, all, we're all supposed to know what's going on, but uh, if, we, if, you don't, if you have any questions, uh, he's a great guy to go to, for sure. How, how terrible is Cam Blake's song? Oh, I love Dancing Queen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Y'all don't give him much grief about that? No, I like it. Yeah, they're a great team. I mean, I mean, they're military guys. They're not going to give up. They're going to keep fighting. I mean, they they probably go through more than us when it comes to training and what they do um, off the field. But, I mean, they're just relentless, and they're a great team. And I think they're going to be a good team all year. And, I mean, I think we just played well, and we, we just never gave up. It's kind of a good example of a good showcase of what all this offense is capable of in a game like this today where there's sack punts, there's steals, there's home runs. Is, that, is this everything that you all have to offer kind of this season? Yeah, I think one through nine, everyone can everyone can put a bunt down, everyone can hit a home run, everyone can steal bases. I mean, Hunter Coleman sold base today. And, I mean, it just shows that – Nobody's scared to do one thing. No one's scared to put a sack bunt down. Everyone's willing to do whatever it takes to get runs in and win a game. What was the, what was the noise in the dugout after Hunter Coleman stole a base? Oh, everyone gets pumped up because he, he always talks about how he, he should be a green runner, but but the coaches <laughs> don't have him as that. So, I mean, everyone loves it. He didn't just steal one base. He ended up stealing third as well. Do you give him any tips on how to run the base bats? Oh, I just tell him just if you get a jump, go. Trust yourself. And, I mean, you gotta you got you to gotta rely on your ability to run. I mean, even though you're not the fastest guy ever getting a good jump, everything. It, 